Hi, I am Muhammad Imran. In today's video, I am going to elaborate your eligibility criteria, document requires, and application procedure, and few frequently asked questions about prestigious Erasmus Mundus Scholarship for the session of 2023-2024. Erasmus Mundi program is cooperation and mobility program in field of higher education on a master level, named after a prominent 15th century Dutch humanist Erasmus of Rotterdam, and highlighted by Latin word Mundus, we stand for world. The program promotes the European Union as a center of excellence in the learning around the globe. The major objective of this scholarship are to improve the accessibility of higher education and visibility of European higher education throughout the world, to, to promote a quality offering higher education with distinct European added value, attractive both within the European Union and beyond its borders, to encourage and enable highly qualified students from all over the world to obtain postgraduate qualification and experience in the European Union, to develop more structured cooperation between European Union and third country institutions. I'm going to provide you a little overview about uh, this prestigious scholarship and Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree is a prestigious integrated international study program jointly delivered by an international group of higher education institutes. The study must take place in at least two of the program countries, European countries. Part of the studies can also take place in partner countries, generally all other countries other than Europe from which students can apply to this program, including Pakistan, if there is a partner country institution involved. The successful completion of study program will lead to award of either a joint degree, one single degree certificate issued on behalf of at least two higher education institutions of EMGMD cons consortium, or multiple degrees, at least two degree certificate issued by two higher education institutions of consortium. An Erasmus Mundus joint master degree program of 60 roughly equal to the one year master, 90 or 120 credit are roughly two year credits. This means that it lasts from minimum of 12 months to a maximum of 24 months. EMJMD scholarship covers your participation cost, including the tuition fees, library, laboratory cost, full insurance coverage, and any other mandatory costs related to your participation in master, including convenience allowance as well. The minimum of 70% of scholarship is awarded to candidates from partner countries. Let's check out the documents required to apply for this prestigious scholarship. The number one is degrees and transcript of your bachelor's. Two letter of recommendation, the person who knows you since last two years. Motivation letter. Score of IRS or TOEFL, valid passport, CV in any format, certificate of residence, and student application form. I want to discuss few documents here in detail. First of all, I, I want to start with two letters of recommendation. Depending on your requirement of the consortia, you could provide reference letter from your former academic supervisor or professor or employer or head of organization where you were involved as volunteer, leader of academic or professional association you are a member. Please know that sometimes 
it is required that recommendation letter are sent separately by the referees themselves while in other cases you can include them in your application set with other documents in pdf form reference letter must be written in english or otherwise be supplied with an officially certified translation be sure that the contact detail of person who recommends you are mentioned in the letter second document that i want to explain is proof of language knowledge if you do not originate from english speaking country or have not received your first degree in english you are required to demonstrate your proficiency in english this can be done by providing a copy of toefl ielts or other officially recognized international test if you just had a foreign language course within the framework of your first degree program it is not enough you need to official international recognized test results proficiency in english language is a compulsory requirement some program will accept english proficiency letter from your university but most want ielts or toefl as a compulsory to apply most program require 6.5 and some needs 7 score in ielts or equivalent in toefl some program also require that no individual score within ielts is below 6 or equivalent for the toefl the third document that I want to explain is degree and transcripts and uh, if you are first degree diploma is not in English the certificate certified copy and the diploma supplement with course uh, hours or grading must be officially translated and certified by a notary or with an apostle if you are currently finishing a degree and have not yet received an official university graduation certificate in most cases, you could still apply for an Erasmus 13 months course and are required to submit an official transcript for all semester completed to present. Please be sure to check the consortium requirement. Keep in mind that all participating universities have access to database containing detailed information about the majority of universities and grading system from all over the world the certified copy of diploma that you submit will be hence checked and verified the fourth document the important one that i want to discuss is certificate of residence uh, it tells that you have not been living in europe for one or more years within the last five years if you want to apply as a partner country student Otherwise, even being a Pakistani, you will not be considered a program country applicant. It can be taken as a letter from your university, workplace, municipal office, etc. and get it attested ideally from notary public lawyer. I can provide you a sample certificate of residence from the university. Uh, it is certify it is to certify mr muhammad imran registration number or you can also put the roll number or session has been a bona fide student of bs chemistry at department of chemistry government college university lahore pakistan since september 2017 it is further cert certified that he has been living in lahore punjab pakistan for more than 4 year and uh, his permanent residency is at tenured since birth. He holds a valid Pakistani passport and his above residence status can also be confirmed from all of his educational transcripts that belong to Pakistani institutions. In case any further clarification is required or any other supporting document is needed, please feel free to let us know. Best regard, this letter can be issued from uh, your university, your workplace, your municipal office, and you have to notarize from notary public lawyer. What can Erasmus Mandar do for an applicant? I want to start with the phrase, the cat of phrase here is university, since you will be enrolled and study in somewhere in the range of 
two to four university during your Erasmus scholarship program, you can decide to examine in Europe as well as in all pieces of the world. It is available to any citizen on the planet. Uh, for master, they are providing monthly stipend of 1100 to 1200 euros waived tuition fees, waived uh, traveling allowances, global airfare tickets, travel allowance at the end of each semester, no bond restriction to get back to country, occupation visa conceded after master and PhD. Let's talk about the application process. Application procedure and entry requirement compliance eligibility test are managed by Services of the University of Gothenburg. The admission procedure is carried out by Joint Admission Committee of EMHRWP, composed by the conveners and administrative coordinator at Gothenburg on the basis of commonly predetermined criteria. Students can apply to maximum of three different programs in one year. So make sure that you do not apply. Uh, to more than three program, otherwise your application will be rejected. Uh, the assessment criteria is divided into three parts, and uh, number one is academic competence that contribute 40% out of 100. Uh, it uh, it includes your bachelor's uh, bachelor transcript, bachelor scores. They count uh, first two year scores separately and uh, the last year last two year scores separately. So your motivation letter up to 20 points so you need to have a strong motivation letter and uh, the work experience and recommendation letter it counts for 40 percent so you should have a strong recommendation letter that cover uh, four to five point uh, it cover your analytical abilities your academic strength your uh, your ability to work independently and uh, in a group. Uh, meanwhile, it also tells your uh, technical skills as well. So some of all these parts can give maximum of uh, 100 points and ranking is done taking into account the final scores given to each candidate from highest to lowest final score. Here is uh, your Erasmus Mundus application steps. First of all, you have to choose the course you are want to apply using this site. There are always uh, there are project announced in the catalog. In my next video, I will tell you how to choose your program from the catalogs. In yearly, there are around uh, 3,000 scholarship mm -hmm. announced. I have checked uh, two days ago. There mm -hmm. was uh, uh, more than 200 scholarship was present. Go to the website of the chosen course and find out about the admission requirement, list of necessary documents and deadlines. Uh, I want to tell you that the deadline for submitting application varies and it starts from 14th of October and end up to, till 31st of December. Make a list of documents uh, you need to prepare and uh, note the deadlines. Register for English test if you have uh, already done this, their school, uh, have your first degree diploma is translated and officially certified from the notary public. Uh, ask relevant persons for recommendation letters, fill in the application form, or when possibly apply online. Write a motivation letter, make copies of all documents, check once again that include all required uh, documents and provide the required amount of copies and send the application or submit the application. Uh, let's talk about the selection criteria. Uh, you you also need to provide documents below as they are used in ranking process carried out by the Joint uh, Admission Committee. Uh, official transcript regarding English, motivation letter in English, well structured, everything in clear, concise language. Please use the assigned form. There is a, also a uh, a template uh, present on the site for motivation letter. You can use this template to write your motivation letter. It must be your original story, your original motivation behind that uh, program, your CV and two recommendation letter. Key dates, 
As I've told you, the application round is open October 14, 2022, and uh, it will last till 1st of December. Sporting document deadline is 15th of December, and admissions are published on 31st, 21st of March 2023. Uh, there is another option for late admission round, which is open between 16th of December to 31st of March 2023. Let's check out the frequently asked questions about this prestigious scholarship. First of all, do you accept the uh, Europa CV? Yes, any CV format is accepted. So, uh, but uh, it is better to format your CV in Europa. Do I need to send my academic document to university admission by email or can I just upload them in the application portal? Uh, there is a requirement to send the documents varies for, from country to country. You can check uh, the required document for your country on the side of the university. Can I submit my documents in another language than English? Uh, I want to tell you that the work experience certificate, recommendation letter, motivation letter, other document to support your eligibility will not only be accepted in English. So please make sure to submit an official translation together with original in case the letter is another language, some academic documents can be submitted in language other than English. Please visit the university admission website. So another, another question that uh, the people ask, can I send my document to you directly via email? You should upload all documents on admission platform directly unless the country specific requirements state otherwise. In most of the cases, you have to upload the documents on the admission platform directly. Why documents can, what documents can I submit as a proof of residence? It is very important document and it is required, essential for uh, being eligible to this uh, prestigious scholarship. As if you are living in Europe, any country of Europe, for last one year or so, you are not eligible to apply on this scholarship, whether you belong to third partner countries. The proof of residence has to show where you have been living at the time of application. It should be issued within 12 months before the application deadline. Here are some examples for valid documents you can submit. A residence certificate issued in accordance with the candidate municipality normal registration rule in English or Spanish. The certificate from the resident place of work, study or training issued by the employer or institute. These certificates must be submitted in English, otherwise a certified English translation must be provided with the original. The document confirming the applicant's place of residence in English issued by notary is also acceptable. You can find more valid way of documenting your residency on Prado website. One important question about the document that is usually asked, which proof of residence should I submit when I am temporarily living outside of my country? You need to submit proof of residence of country you are living in before traveling to, uh, to any um, foreign country. Should my documentation be legalized? All documents must be officially issued. You can read more about how to submit your documents. There are frequently asked questions on eligibility criteria. Is there any age limit to apply? There is no age limit as age is just a number for them. As long as you are fulfill all criteria, you should be eligible. Am I eligible if I have degree within a subject? Degrees within social sciences, uh, for example, you belong to social sciences and are eligible for the program, but this does not discard the possibility to be admitted to the program with a degree within another area, such as engineering, technology, medicines, as long as there is a relevant connection to human rights in your background and fulfill the rest of the requirement, you are eligible. Can I still apply? 
apply for program scholarship if do not fulfill the all criteria no you have to fulfill all the criteria by the application deadline more question on eligibility i have finished my bachelor program but my degree will be issued after deadline can i still apply if your university can issue a certificate, we state that you have finished all your program courses and therefore have the right to degree, which will be issued at the later date, then that should be enough for us to mark you eligible. This document has to be uploaded on the admission platform by application deadline at the latest. Does volunteer work count as a work experience? Yes, as long as it is relevant to the field of your study in case of human rights I've, i must say that if it is relevant to the human right i'm just putting the example uh, then it is uh, it will be counted as the work experience is my work experience volunteer work relevant for the program unfortunately we are not able to do a premium assessment of the relevancy of your experience as for applying to the program scholarship the reviewing commission will evaluate this upon reviewing your application and take relevant aspect that are in line with the program into consideration when making their decision there are frequently asked questions about english requirement what are english requirement one need to fulfill you need to fulfill two different criteria for different purposes the criteria you need to fulfill to admit it to program is one you can read about university admission website for the visa requirement you need to fulfill the requirements stated on the government.uk website so it's better to uh, go with the standard procedures the program one studied was in english do i need to submit proof of english proficiency yeah you can but it varies from universities to universities. Which English test is valid to apply for UK visa? Uh, you know that is false. What may mistakes should I avoid in my application? Top five negative in Erasmus application. Now lie in your application. Uh, don't forget to attach evidence of your internship jobs and almost all major achievements. Do not apply to more than three programs, you will be for sure failing all. Don't copy exact line from any letter on Google or copy paste last year's letter of motivation. Lack of knowledge about the program, website content, and the purpose of the program portray in your letter of motivation uh, interview. I, I just want to add a few lines here. Your all documents must be complementing each other. For example, you are mentioning point a b c d in your cv but you need to provide the proof of a b c d in the form of documents so this is what they are looking for what is the difference between consortium scholarship and erasmus scholarship this is a very important question so just i want to clear you people consortium means a group of universities offering any single erasmus master program some programs are under Erasmus but are funded also by the consortium itself to take more students. You can call it university's own scholarship. Some programs are not on the Erasmus list but they can also be independently offered with scholarship by their respective consortiums. Consortium means the group of universities that jointly offer any specific master program within Erasmus list or sometimes separately, which previously were covered by Erasmus. These are the countries of uh, Europe that uh, offer these uh, scholarship. Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Croatia, Czech, Re Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Estonia, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden. If you have any query about uh, this scholarship, just uh, put a comment on the video. I will try my level best to provide you the response.
casually as possible. Thank you so much. Best of luck with your scholarship hunting process.